Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned on symmetry, reflection, kaleidoscope, let's look at some questions. Question number one, find the number of lines of symmetry in each of the following shapes. So let's look at the first shape first. So do you, th so what do you think? What are the lines that can divide this into equal halves? So the horizontal line, yes, it can divide it into two equal halves. You see, this half and this half are exactly identical and they are also mirror images of each other because they are laterally inverted. So they, when, uh, when you try to overlap them, they would completely cover each other. So this is a line of symmetry. Think of this line. This again is a line of symmetry because all that you see on the left side of the line is exactly identical to all that you see on the right side. In fact, the left side and right side are again are again mirror images of each other. So this is also a line of symmetry. Let's move on to this next image. So here also when you look at this horizontal line, this is again a line of symmetry because anything on the top is exactly identical to anything that is there below. This one is also a line of symmetry. Now there are two ways of finding out lines of symmetry. One way is you randomly uh, think of lines, you randomly draw lines and see if it is dividing into two equal halves. The smarter way of approaching such problem is first you try to look at the image very carefully and see if, if that image any way resemble any regular polygon. In that case you can very quickly tell how many lines of symmetry it would have. The second tip could be try to imagine one part of the image which could be a mirror image of the other part. So if you are able to locate the two mirror images of each other, so you basically found out the lines of symmetry. So these are some of the points that should run in your mind when you are trying to find out the lines of symmetry of any particular shape. Question number two, complete the following such that the resulting figure has two dotted lines as two lines of symmetry. Okay, so this is what is given. So the dark blue lines are the part of the actual figure which we need to complete. So we have to complete the figure only this much part is given. And the dotted lines which you see here in light blue color, one horizontal and one vertical, these two lines are the lines of symmetry. So what does that mean? That means that if this is the vertical line of symmetry, this is the horizontal line of symmetry. So for this vertical line of symmetry, anything that is on this side, exactly same thing will be there on this side as well. So you basically need to draw the mirror image of this part on this side. So how the mirror image would be exactly identical, just that your left becomes right and your right becomes left. So this is how the mirror image of this part would be on this side. Perfect. Similarly, now this entire thing which is on the top, its mirror image should be there at the bottom because we have this horizontal line of symmetry. So whatever we have here on this side, the exact thing should be present here. I mean, its mirror image should be present here. So let's draw the mirror image. So again, you draw the same thing, just that like for every point, you draw its corresponding point. Like if, let's say if this point, is, the, is at this much distance from the line, so you draw its corresponding point here. So this point is at this much distance, you draw its corresponding point here. So in that fashion, we actually draw the corresponding mirror image on this side. And this is how it would be. So in this fashion, we completed the figure. So this would be the resulting figure such that this is the vertical line of symmetry and this is the horizontal line of symmetry. So we have another such figure which needs to be completed. So this blue part is just a portion of the figure and we need to complete it. So again, this is the vertical line of symmetry and this is the horizontal line of symmetry. Let's first focus on the vertical line of symmetry. So whatever you see on this side, its mirror image should be present on this side. So let's draw the mirror image. Now make sure that the lengths of the lines should also be equal. So there should be no variation except that the mirror image is laterally inverted. So here you see this diagonal line passes through two squares. So this side also this line should pass through two squares. Similarly, then you have another diagonal line which covers one square. So let's cover one square. Then you have one vertical line. So let's draw one vertical line like this. And then again we have a diagonal line which meets this center. So we need to draw 
a diagonal line like this so in this fashion we draw the drew the mirror image of this part so the bottom part is done now we have horizontal line of symmetry so all that would be there on the top is going to be the mirror image of this bottom part so let's draw the top part now so here you have this diagonal line which covers three squares so let's draw a diagonal line covering three squares this side and covering three squares this side as well then you have a vertical line covering one square so vertical line covering one square then again you have a diagonal line covering one square so a diagonal line covering one square and then finally what do you have you have a diagonal line covering two squares so you have diagonal line covering two squares so the line is, is not perfectly straight this is how it should be yeah so in this fashion we completed this figure as well so very carefully you need to draw the mirror image of the existing part in order to complete the entire figure so i hope that you would have got a very good idea about the concept of symmetry and as an exercise look at things around yourself and try to see if they are symmetrical or not now as i have mentioned before also remember the tips for identifying the lines of symmetry in any particular figure i mean you should have uh, you should be confident enough that if you are given any image you should be able to find out the lines of symmetry for that particular image so i hope that this lesson would have helped you see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you